Why hello there anxious the nigga back again continuing our beginner's guide series in Minimator 1.1.2 So as you may recall in our previous parts we talked about importing rigs but what if you want to import some custom models made for Minecraft? Typically I think these are JSON files if I remember the acronym properly if it's an acronym because I don't know. Anyway you may recall over here in the workbench that we've got this little button ratch here that allows you to create a model from an external file. So what this button here does is allow you to import files like I think they're called JSON files and these are like the files from my understanding that Minecraft uses with custom models. I think modders use it to make the modded Minecraft objects and items and things like that. Well now this allows you to import those kinds of things into Minimator. There's a couple of programs that already do this but Nimi is working on a sister program to Minimator that's what I'm going to call it right now anyway called Model Bench that will allow you to do it specifically for Minimator or whatever as well so if we go ahead and click on this I have one of these that I downloaded from another site called blockmodels.com it's kind of a hard site to use because there doesn't seem to be like a singular place that people upload the files so some of them are hit and miss you know, you can't really download them, but I found one that worked. So I'm going to go right here to model. I'm going to click browse. The dialog box comes up over on my other screen, as you may recall. And I'm just going to go to the file that I downloaded and select it and open it. And as you can see there, it came up in this screen and it's like this weird sword file thing. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And there it is in our scene. And this is the name of it for whatever reason. And there you go, man. So there you go. I cleaned up the screen a little bit. And this is the little file that we get. And as you can see, this is a pretty uh, detailed little rig type thing here. And as you can see, it's actually just one object. If you rig this in Minimator, this would be made of a ton of little parts and it would be a bunch of objects and items in your scene. You'd have to collapse into the timeline and all this kind of stuff. But with these programs, it allows you to create these intricate models and then bring them in without all this stuff cluttering up your timeline you don't have a bunch of different files here in the library this is just one model file here and as you can see it's got a lot of detail and stuff and you could use this pretty much like anything else in your scene as far as i know there obviously are more detailed uh things like you know character rigs and things like that that i believe you'll be able to make with model bench or with these other programs that do this kind of stuff but uh Anyway, this is just one example and that's how you would import things like that into your scene to use just kind of like rigs, you know, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty quick and simple little tutorial there. Hopefully that helps you guys. And with that, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends, your family and your pets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.